everybody and welcome to another episode of AZ Camera Reviews. Now, I want to talk to you today about a, a booster for cellular phones. Now, where we live, we're kind of in a hole and the cellular signal is absolutely positively terrible. Maybe we get one bar, sometimes two, very, very iffy, not really good uh, connectivity for, for doing uh, like like Wi-Fi type of things, so you can connect to Wi-Fi, basically digital, the digital that comes through your phone. So I kind of was like, what am I gonna do? So I saw this thing advertised, this HiBoost uh, 4K SmartLink, and supposedly it also does 5G, it does 4G, and I figured I'd put it up in the house and give it a try. So this is a HiBoost 4K SmartLink, and it's a model F10G 5S BTW, and it's available online, and I figured, you know, why not? check it out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's inside the box and then I'm going to show you how to sight it in and so on and so forth. So let's look and see what's inside the box. I'm going to open it up here and then I'm going to go in for a close up. And this is basically what the inside of the box looks like. And now let's go in and see what's in the box. So look what we have here. We've got the actual unit itself, the high boost unit, and then we also have the indoor antenna. So let's take a look at the high boost unit itself first. Uh, you've got three lights here on the front. You've got one that says alarm, power, and ISO. I haven't read about the unit yet, so I'm learning about it as you guys are. Uh, then you've got your set mode, which you'll probably be able to step through different setup modes. And this will be your plus and minus to be able to scroll up and down. Then it's also got an LCD readout. It also has uh, a Wi-Fi signal and also a Bluetooth signal um, right here at the top. Now, if we look down on the bottom right here, there's an RS-232 port which is, uh, it looks a lot like a regular um, USB type C connector. And then this is where your outdoor antenna is gonna plug into. And it's what they call an N connector. And then right here is your 12 volts input for your, uh, for your DC to power the unit. Now, the top of the unit, I'm gonna flip this around, has uh, the outlet for the indoor antenna, which is going to be this antenna right here. And then they have another antenna right here, which is, um, I believe, either for the Bluetooth antenna or it might be for another external antenna for inside the home if you want to put another antenna in your house. The back of the unit has a, has a clip uh, so you can mount it on a wall or whatever, and uh, your model number, so on and so forth. So let's just kind of put this aside. Now you've got your indoor antenna, which uh, this is what it looks like, and this is the back, and it also has a place uh, so you can clip it on the wall or the ceiling or whatever, and this is the connector right here. And that's going to connect to the actual box with uh, an inter intermediary cable. So you'll have a, a connection cable that'll go between, um, not this one, but the top. And it'll connect these two uh, cables together. So it'll probably be a male on this side and then a male on the other side to mate them together. So that's your, your antenna for the indoors. Now, let's pull this top off and let's see what's in here. Here you have uh, a user's manual and uh, the user manual is all in black and white. Um, I haven't read it yet, so I don't know how good it is, but this is your usual user manual. And then they have a thank you card in here. Then you've got 
your outdoor antenna and when you utilize your outdoor antenna they want you to face face this side up so that the polarization will be proper and then there's some screws on the back here that will go into a, a bracket that will probably go on a pole okay then you've got your power cord and you've got your AC supply and the AC supply will plug in to the bottom of your unit and I showed you the power in before okay then you've got some mounting screws and some mollies to be able to uh, mount it to the wall uh, and you'll drill a, a few holes and uh, you'll use these screws and these mollies to put it in on the wall in your home then this is uh, a mounting bracket and this is the mounting bracket for the let me uh, pull this out this is the mounting bracket for this unit and basically what you'll do is you'll just slide this on you'll put the four screws in and this will mount on your wall so that's what this goes to and then there's another there's another one right here which goes on the back of your indoor antenna so those two go together then this is the mounting hardware for the uh, outdoor antenna and that will probably mount uh, similar to to this what you'll do is you'll undo those screws and you'll decide uh, what you want your orientation to be and this will go through here like so through this little hole and you'll mount you'll mount this and then these here are to be used on the pole that you're going to use probably mount this way and then these screws will go through this mounting plate to put it on a pole this looks like um, it's some sort of um, tape I don't know what it's for but we'll we'll find out later and then this is another um, this looks like something to maybe do watertight or something like that it's kind of like a a plastic clay it's got sticky on both sides and we'll find out what that is later and then the last layer here is all your cables and you've got one connection cable which like I said has uh, male ends on both sides and then you've got another cable in here which has a male end on one side as you can see and then it has an SMA connector on the other side and this is this is probably for the out, outdoor antenna um, the reason being is you will probably want to drill a hole in your wall and it's easier to pass this through the SMA rather than the end connector because the end side is rather large and then on this one you've got a male end connector and then you've got I think a female I don't wanna let's let's just open it up and we'll see you've got a male on this side okay and then on the other cable let's see what we've got on the other cable take it out of the bag I'm not ready to mount it yet so I didn't want to take everything apart and this one as you can see has a female so you can make this cable up with this cable here the one that has the two SMA connectors on the ends and the end connectors on the other end then you've got this little cable and this little cable you can use to run the antenna the external antenna out a window uh, because it's thinner and on one side you've got a female SMA and on the other side you've got 
a male SMA connector. Okay, so this is for the window. And then let's see, last but not least, you've got this little uh, antenna, which most likely will mount right on the top of your unit here where it says antenna up here. You'll screw this antenna on here. And this is uh, probably for your Wi-Fi or for your Bluetooth. And that's how that goes. So now you've basically seen the components that come in the box. Now we'll try installing. This is the backside peak of my house where the antenna will end up living. So now I'm on the roof of my house and what I've done is I've taken an old light stand and I mounted the antenna on the light stand so then that way I can rotate it to find the strongest signal. Now before I even came up here I went on my computer and inside the manual it tells you about a couple of applications that are on uh, your computer where you can find where the closest location is for the antenna for your particular carrier. Mine happens to be Verizon and mine's way out over there it's about it's about a mile away. So I just kinda wanted to show you folks this is the general area of where I have to be pointing. The antenna is basically right in this area right here so I'm going to point it out that way so I can get my best possible signal off the Verizon tower out there. But I'm kind of sitting in a hole, so my reception is pretty bad. Usually I get about one bar or two bars. So I've set up, like I said, a preliminary antenna mount, and at some point, once I find out exactly where the antenna is, I'll get a compass reading off the front of the antenna, and then I'll move the mount over onto the peak of the house and point it out directly to where the antenna is. Now, the way I can find out how the antenna is peaking is by utilizing the app that I installed on my phone and also use the readout that's actually on this head unit for the high boost. So this is a bit of a balancing act, but um, you can see that as I rotate this around, you can see the numbers are changing. Now this is totally, this is totally off axis. And I'm gonna bring it in, if I can, real slow. And you can see the numbers are changing. And what I want to do is I want to peek this out at the best possible place. And that's what I'm going to be doing here, but I kind of need both hands. So I'll get back when I've got it sighted in. So now that I have the system basically sighted in, I'm going to run the wires through the attic. And so I just wanted to show you, this is what the display looks like on the cell phone and I don't have any antenna hooked up right now. I want you to see what happens to the signal when I hook up the antenna to the actual high boost. Now I'm gonna touch the screen again just so my screen doesn't go dead. Okay, so now I've got full signal here. And as you can see on my cell phones, the signal is way down. Now I'm gonna hook up the top antenna on here, and let's see how the signal on those cell phones improve inside the house. Now this is what they term a soft install. So I've got the antenna coming in from the roof into the high boost uh, box, this is what my signal looks like on my phone um, in the app. And this is 
how it's boosted on my phone. I cannot believe how much better the signal is inside my house. Well, there you have it, Amazon buyers. The High Boost 4K Smart Link. I've showed you everything that comes inside the box. I've showed you what High Boost terms a soft setup, which is just basically running the cables to the unit, getting it set up, making sure everything works, getting it sighted in. I mounted the antenna on my light stand just so I could uh, sight it in. And uh, I will be putting it on the corner of my house, uh, like I showed you folks. Um, it's just gonna take too long to do that video and I just kinda wanted to give you an overview of, of this product. Uh, you saw what the interface looks like on your cell phone. It's really a nice inf interface and it makes installing the product really easy. It's much easier to look at your phone and, and adjust the antenna by looking at your phone than it is on the numbers that are constantly changing on the actual high boost box. And I've tried it with my phones and I went from two bars up to four and on one I'm actually getting five. So this thing actually works. So that kind of ends this video. Um, I will probably be doing a follow up video at some point showing my final installation. So until then, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews saying, please watch us, please like us, give us a thumbs up below, please share us, and most of all, so we can keep this channel going, please, please subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.